Vinod Patel. I'm the Chief Product Officer at IOG. Uh, I'm originally from Zambia. I studied in South Africa and um, I'm really blessed to be working with a talented group of engineers and academics to build solutions that will work for my home country and also the rest of Africa. So in, in developed markets, we really take uh, identity for granted, uh, but identity is really core to accessing um, a host of services. So whether you want to apply for a loan or apply for insurance, um, you need to have your, your identity. Cardano is an open platform uh, that seeks to provide economic identity for the billions of people who lack it uh, by enabling um, decentralized applications um, for identity, value and governance. Um, Atala Prism is um, a decentralized identity solution that's really bringing the users that will consume those services uh, built on Cardano. So it's really that simple. Atala Prism is an open identity system um, that is key for financial inclusion. So in the case of Ethiopia, it's all starting with 5 million people. IOG is very excited to be working with the Ethiopian Ministry of Education to create a next generation blockchain-based identity solution that can track grades and educational attainment of students throughout their educational life from kindergarten to 12th grade. There'll be a number of applications built, including a web-based application that will allow the MOE and uh, educational institutions to manage students throughout their educational life. Schools can easily view student details and see all credentials that have been issued to them or received from them. The MOE and all educational entities will be able to easily create and issue credentials to any group of students. Schools will also be able to easily monitor attendance. A learning management system component will also enable the creation of learning and development programs. Every student will be issued with a tablet with the MOE application installed. On registering in the application, a unique digital identity will be created and this will be anchored in the Cardano blockchain. Students will be able to connect to their school and receive all their educational credentials. These will be securely stored and they can easily be shared with universities and potential employers. The app will also have functionality to allow students to view what classes they enrolled in, their attendance records, and their progress throughout the school year. So the technology we've developed to deliver this is groundbreaking. And as a consumer application, we've designed this to be as user-friendly as possible and made it mobile-focused. Um, it's going to enable really a customer-centric um, identity system um, that's more secure, uh, more transparent, um, and also more auditable. This is part of the Ethiopia strategy to leverage new technology and realize its potential in the digital space. So we're building the solution for Ethiopia right now. Uh, we expect to see that in market in six to nine months uh, from now. Uh, the next phase will focus on expand national ID programs to allow uh, financial institutions to also record financial transactions. This is just the start. Local banks and micro-lending institutions will be able to uh, verify uh, the citizens and provide um, financial services. I was inspired to join IOG really because of Charles' vision for financial inclusion. Um, over a billion people on this planet uh, do not have access to financial services and over half of those um, are from Africa. In, in developing countries, um, people don't, are unable to really access <clears throat> financial services for two reasons. Firstly, um, they don't have an identity uh, that's required to be able to go and open a bank account. Um, secondly, they're not able to, to use uh, their informal credit history uh, that they might have got from um, you know, getting a loan from your local shopkeeper or uh, the micro-lending um, institution um, close to where you live or the local farming cooperative. Um, they're not able to take this credit history that you've got there and apply it to, to a bank. Um, so solving these two systemic issues uh, has the opportunity to unlock billions of dollars worth of capital. Um, and it's important to underscore this is not charity. Um, you know, unbanked users are not riskier than, than banked users. Uh, so there's a real opportunity there for us to go after. The system is quite open, so it can also provide and capture um, additional data. For example, um, it can capture information about loan repayments, and um, it can also capture personal information, such as 
uh, land registration data, your health data, among other things. So Atala covers a whole range of layer two solutions from uh, credentialing, track and trace solutions, product authentication. Uh, we've been developing Atala for over two years now and very early on we recognized that identity was key to unlocking a whole range of services. Smart contracts will enable further opportunities. Uh, they will enable basically the creation of decentralized uh, insurance and lending providers uh, that are able to compete at um, lower price points um, and also provide services that are more equitable for everyone. Uh, we're also working on Hydra, which is our scalability solution, and this will enable uh, micropayment use cases. So we're very excited about our work in Ethiopia, um, issuing the first government-endorsed digital ID uh, to all students. This is an important first step uh, towards our goal of enabling financial inclusion across the continent.